Hello everyone. When you're editing your movies with iMovie, sometimes you want to take certain clips and edit them to play at a fast forward or a slow motion speed. And iMovie sometimes would magically fail. It wouldn't let you do that. When you select these clips, iMovie will tell you that it needs to optimize the clip. It will proceed to do so. And then it will fail with a super cryptic error message. This clip cannot be optimized error minus 50. Turns out what iMovie is trying to tell you that you don't have enough drive space for iMovie to optimize this clip. Movies or clips, depending on their encoding and duration, require a certain amount of drive space for iMovie to optimize them. If you don't have this space, it can't do it. The obvious solution is to get more drive space. But if you don't have the means to get more drive space, you can use a command line tool called FFmpeg to re-encode your movie at a lower bitrate. Yes, it lowers the quality a little bit, but at least it will shrink the size of your movie and maybe this time iMovie can optimize your movie. Let's do it. It is very important to note that even if you re-encode your movie into a smaller movie, iMovie will need exactly the same space, exactly the same amount of space as before. This is because iMovie saves your movie in AIC format regardless of the original codec. So for our purposes, we're going to first install Mac ports, then we're going to install FFmpeg with Mac ports, and then we're going to re-encode your clip with FFmpeg and import it to iMovie. If you have Mac ports, you can skip the first step. Let's use Google to search for Mac ports and download its installer. Uh, once you get to this page, look for your Mac version. Mine is Mountain Lion. And once you start the installer, just go through all these steps. And when it's done, we can go to the next step. I'm going to type sudo port install ffmpeg and Mac ports will install ffmpeg for me together with all the dependencies that it has. Once it completes, I'm going to retype the command to see that there were no more dependencies left. It looks good. So now I'm going to show you the file that I want to uh, decrease the size of it. Um, it's 1.5 gigabytes. We're going to check with ffmpeg-i what encoding it has. It's encoded in H.264. So again, ffmpeg-i, name of the file, C colon V, H.264. I'm going to use a profile. H.264 comes with a few profiles. I'm going to use the main because it's encoded in main. And then I'm going to decrease the bitrate from 8200K to 1024K. And something very important, I'm going to use a preset called UltraFast, which turns off the interframe lookups while H264 is running. If I don't turn it off, it will take forever for iMovie to import this movie. Um, FFmpeg asked me to use strict minus 2 because the audio is encoded in AAC, and I'm just going to add that. And I'm going to restart it. And then here we go. FFmpeg is now re-encoding the movie with the same video and audio codec. FFmpeg just finished its job. Let's look at what files we have here. The first file you're going to see is going to be the original file, 1.5 gigabytes. The second file is something that I created before with 4000k bitrate. The third file is the one we just created, 217 megabytes um, with the bitrate of 1024k, exactly one eighth of the original file. Let's now go ahead and import this movie to uh, iMovie. It's important to note that you will need a lot of drive space again because um, the drive space that iMovie needs did not change even though the size of the movie is smaller. Uh, this is going to take a while now. Good luck with your editings with iMovie and thanks for watching.